Yo, is this even a fair fight? Anthony Rumble Johnson, right, is supposed to be fighting at 185 tonight, but he's fighting at 197. Anthony Johnson is so fucking far from making weight. It's not even funny. Why? So here's the deal. If you accept that you come on and not make weight, and you make weight, you get 20% of this person. To be honest, that's unprofessional. You can't have a guy that's cutting weight that gets to the weight, and another guy who doesn't even come close to the weight, and has a difference, but it's your profession. You gotta do what you gotta do to cut the weight. I mean, come on now, guys. Do you think it's uh, unprofessional? I mean, I'm getting ready for UFC 1, uh, uh, 142, so um, I'll see you guys. It was probably after the fight. Anthony Johnson's going to lose, even though he came in 20 pounds heavier than uh, Belfort, which the dude should be fighting heavyweight anyway. You should just see how beastly he is, cutting from 230 to, like, 185. That's crazy. But I think Aldo's going to lose because he's fighting a high-level wrestler. That's the way to beat um, Anderson Silva is a high-level wrestler like uh, Chell Sonnen. And that's the way I see this fight going. If you can get these Brazilians on their back and just rain these punches and bunches, that's how you're going to uh, uh, lose. So, uh, Anthony Johnson is losing, and so is Aldo. That's my opinion, but probably my predictions never uh, follow through. It really was not a surprise that um, you had Anthony Rumble Johnson coming out hungry, shooting, uh, taking out, taking down Belfort, and trying to use his brutal strength because you see how beastly that dude is. He's this big, beastly dude. Even though he came in overweight, he I, I, I don't know if he underestimated the uh, fact that Belfort is a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, but um, like I said, Belfort got him in a rear naked choke with a gable grip, I think it was called, and just choked him out. And um, <clears throat> next month, you have uh, Carlos Conde. Do you really think Mario Yamasaki made a bad call by uh, saying it was a draw or it was a uh, disqualification? Because uh, a lot of those shots weren't to the back of the head, and that's the very first time I ever seen Joe Rogan step in and actually ask the ref after he watched replay, "Did you make the right call?" And like Steve Mer or Yamasaki basically said, he was in the moment and. You have to make the call, and you have to stick with that call. And some of those shots were to the back. He had like two shots, but a lot of them looked like they were shooting from the side. And it looked like after he did watch the replay, he kind of was like, man, I did make a bad call. But it's because you look at it this way. When you see a replay, you get to see from different angles. But when you're in the moment you see some guy throwing some punches, you want to stop the fight as fast as you possibly can so the guy doesn't get hurt. But I think that Steve uh, or that Eric... Uh, Silva dude, uh, versus Nick Diaz. Nick Diaz versus Carlos Conte. That's going to be a war. I think the Diaz brothers are both going to be, um, champion in 2012. That's just my opinion. They're two beastly, uh, strikers with great Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. But, uh, I don't know, man. It's really hard to beat a Brazilian in Brazil because you got the crowd chanting like those soccer chants, and those crowds are getting, like, aggressive. My prediction is Mendez is going to get, um, go for the takedown because he's a tremendously good wrestler and he's going to do the same thing that uh, um, Chonin did uh, to Anderson. I think it's going to be the same type of fight. He's going to try to shoot in, take him down, and rain punches like a John Finch fight or uh, a Chell Sonnen fight where he takes him down and grounds and pounds him and um, wins the match that way. That's just my opinion on the uh, fight. Like I said, the fight hasn't happened yet. It's uh, going to happen in a minute, but that's just really my opinion how the fight's really going to go. So I could be totally wrong. I'm just uh, throwing out some uh, some ideas of how I think the fight's going to go. If it stands up, uh, Chad Mendes is okay, going to get guys. whooped. I'm never counting out Jose Aldo again. Like, seriously, he uh, Chad Mendes had him up against the cage and was raining some knees and was doing pretty good. And uh, Jose goes around out of nowhere and spins around like knees the shit out of uh Chad Mendez and Mendez just falls and he just lanes one little punch and it was done. And then you had Jose Aldo 
running into the crowd, and the crowd just rushing them. I mean, it was 4.59 in the first round. He just walks up, son, turns around, and goes, a knee to the face, and that fool drops. It sucks, but it's one of those fighters that um, comes along once in a lifetime that's unstoppable, like he's an Anderson Silva. Even they supposedly said Anderson Silva said if they fought together in the same weight class, Anderson Silva would quit. You really guys think uh, Jose Aldo could beat Anderson Silva? I don't know, but uh, that was UFC 142, son. And um, like I said, his wrestling was doing pretty good when he got him up against the cage, raining some elbow or some knees. And uh, I don't know, he came around really quick and just went, wow, with a knee, and that fool dropped. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting, okay, the bell's going to ring, and it's going to go around two. No, <laughs> that's the shit is done. I don't know who's going to be a, a competitor, a contender against him. You had um, Kenny Florian. You had Mike Brown. You had um, Araya Favor. All these beastly dudes get destroyed. So post in the comments below. Who's going to beat this dude? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Man, this was a good card. I really wasn't hyped up about it, but it was exciting.